as Mr. Mandry's man of the match steps up to take the first penalty. Clearly, commentator's kiss of death would suggest that he is going to miss. Yes, with his shiny new white. But whose boots are they? Are they yours, Colin? No. They're not... JJ has mine. So JJ has Colin's boots. Uh, we're not sure whose boots Hadara's wearing, but. So just, just to clarify there for viewers, the excellent leadership of JJ, so good they named him twice, who forgot his boots. Chimpanze. for the day when he had to step up as leader. Do we have an official watching to see if the goalkeeper's coming off his line? Uh, yeah, look, looks like Mr Brennan's on the sideline there. And uh, Commentator's kiss of death, death did come true. I mean, it was a good penalty down to the corner, but you know, there is a reason why the year 13 substituted Camillo into the goal at this point. Um, I'm uh, not the Porto Academy of He's, cur he's, he's currently on the books at Sparta of Rotterdam. Sparta, yeah. uh, I'm not 100% sure uh, the celebrations by Ben Humphreys there were entirely called for, um, especially the flex at the end there. But you know, Lucas steps up and puts it away. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm speechless. Uh, we've got Alex stepping up. Right, although the year 12s may not be able to get complete bragging rights, here is an opportunity for Alex to get some bragging rights over his brother, Barron, we presume, who will not be able to take a penalty due to the injury sustained in the last moments of the game. So Camillo looking to uh, psych Alex out a little bit here. Longest run up by Alex. <laughs> and a very well taken penalty. Great penalty. I, I believe that uh, Camillo may have been about six yards. But ultimately down to Alex sending him the wrong way. You'd have expected a goalkeeper of Camillo's experience not to have fallen for that kind of trick. So class stepping up for the year 13s. Oh, I missed uh, Ben Humphrey's particular celebration then. I have to keep an eye out for it, for, uh, keep an eye out on it this time round. I think having the inexperience of Joachim in goal, is he a normal goalkeeper? No. Yes, yeah, so I think the lack of experience in the goalkeeping department for the year 12s is, is going to, is, might well have a impact. All right, so Christian stepping up. Camillo once more playing some mind games. He's going to have to be careful, otherwise he could receive a card for this kind of behaviour. Yeah, it's very true. Ooh, Christian returning to type. But at least it hit the post this time. Oh, I thought that was just the noise of hitting the fence behind, but okay. They've all gone right uh, to the left. So, Camillo uh, Kim not required to uh, make a save. We've got Lauren stepping up now, and from, if I am not mistaken, he will belt this as hard as he possibly can. Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. Uh, and it, if I was Joachim, I would just try and get out of the way. There we go. That was either a goal or a factored wrist. So at this, at this point, the year 12s really need to score, otherwise it is game it's over. It's a decider. And Cobby. The leadership of JJ has asked Cobby to take this deciding penalty. Make our best bet from this league. Does anybody know the origins of Cobby's nickname? That's a good question. I don't know, maybe that's something again, maybe something for the comment section. So, Cobby. And that's another good save by Camille. I'm not convinced that was the best penalty, but uh, that means that the year 13s 
win on penalties and have bragging rights for this particular year. I think although they do have bragging rights, there are question marks over their tactics with the goalkeeper change at the end and whether that was within the spirits of the game. But nobody can deny the results. 3-1 is the final result of the penalty shootout. That is a victory for the year 13s as they celebrate. It's been nice to see them. And now they start to make their way over to the year 12s for the sportsmanly gesture of congratulations and condolence. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to say I will be presenting Hadar with the rear of his boot. Have a good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Trimber. Pleasure as always.